Established book canon says that the text block on the page will take up two thirds of the page with the height of the text block being the same as the width of the overall page. Now I'm going to show you that first on a 5x8 page because that's already in proportion. Um, so if we look at the page size you can see that we've got a 5x8 page. Now with that the larger margins go to the outside and to the bottom to leave you room to hold the book and to turn the pages. So if we have a height of 8 and we know we earn a width of 5, we know mm -hmm. that the height of the text block wants to be 5 inches. So we're going to have a 1 inch margin at the top and a 2 inch margin at the bottom. But what about the width of the page? To find the ideal width of the page, we're going to divide 5, which is the width, by 8, which is the height of the page, and then multiply it by 5 again. Which tells us that the text block wants to be 3.125 inches wide. So how do we change that into the margins? So if we minus the 5, we know that both of our margins together want to equal 1.875 inches. So if we divide that by 3, that tells us 0 0.625 and we want that to be the inside margin. So we would put 0 0.625 and if we then multiply that by 2, that gives us 1.25 inches for the other margin. mirror margins on and you can see that's the inside margin and the outside margin. And when, if we then switch on the grid lines you can see how the text block appears on the page. Now to get the same results in the size that we're looking at we're again and go to custom margins and the paper size is 5.06 wide so we want 5.06 in height for the text block so if we minus 5.06 from the 7.81 our margins in total want to be 2.75 Divide by 3, the top margin wants to be 0. say 0.92. Multiply by 2 and 1.83 for the bottom margin. So what we're going to do about the width now. So we have 5.06 divided by 7.81 multiplied by 5.06. The width wants to be 3.25. It's probably the closest you're going to get. So 3.25 from 5.06 mm -hmm. is 1.81 divide by 3 we want 0 0.6 margin on the inside and again we're going to put it on mirror margins 0 0.6 and multiply by 2 1.2 That gives us a text block that fits with traditional book canon and these calculations will work on any page size.